Boring cuts are killing your edits, but not anymore. In this video, I'm showing you six powerful transitions that'll instantly give your videos a clean, professional edge. They're smooth, creative, and super fun to build. I've also put together a massive transition pack. It contains 100 presets across 22 categories, all built for cinematic, fast-paced, and smooth edits. Perfect if you want pro-level transitions without spending hours. Check the link in the description to get it. The first transition on the list is the flash transition. I have these two stock clips. First, create a new adjustment layer and drag it above the two clips where you want to apply the transition. Now cut the adjustment layer into six frames in total, three frames on each side. Place the playhead exactly between the two clips, move three frames to the right, make a cut and delete the extra part. Then do the same thing on the left side as well. Next, go to the effects panel and search for directional blur. Apply this effect onto the adjustment layer. After that, search for brightness and contrast, and drag that onto the adjustment layer too. Now, with the playhead positioned right between the two clips, go to the effect controls panel and create keyframes for blur length, brightness, and contrast. Increase the blur length to around 70. For brightness, we'll also go with 70, and for contrast, 45 works well. Now go back to the very first frame of the adjustment layer and reset the values for all three parameters. Then, move the playhead to the end of the adjustment layer and reset the values again. Drag these new keyframes to the very end. This is how the transition will look, and I think it already looks pretty good. You're free to play around with the keyframes to fine tune the effect to your liking. For example, you can move the directional blur keyframes a bit closer, so the flash comes in first, followed by the blur. And the best part? You can save this entire transition as a preset and use it again in just seconds whenever you need it. Next up, we have the Luma Fade Transition. It works beautifully in cinematic videos, adding a smooth and natural feel to your cuts. I have two clips on my timeline. The first thing to do is find a spot on the first clip where you want the transition to begin. Once you've found that point, drag the second clip above the first clip starting from that spot. Go over to the effects panel and search for gradient wipe, then drag it onto the second clip. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the second clip. In the effect controls panel, create a keyframe for transition completion and set its value to 100. Then move forward about 20 frames and reset the value back to zero. Also, make sure to check the invert gradient option. As you can see, it looks perfect, but it's a bit too quick. To make it longer, just drag the keyframe further. This will increase the duration of the transition. You can also play around with the transition softness setting. It controls how sharp or soft the edge of the transition looks. Try different values until it looks just right for you. Personally, I like to increase it slightly for a smoother feel, and that works perfectly for me. And finally, you can save this transition as a preset and use it anytime in future projects with just a few clicks. Here is the final result. Next in the list is the panoramic transition. This transition is part of my 100 transition pack. You can check the link in the description to get access and save hours of editing instead of building transitions from scratch. Once you get the pack, simply import the preset file into the effects panel and you'll instantly have access to all 100 drag and drop transitions. Let me show you how to use the panoramic transition in just a few simple steps. I have two stock clips on the timeline. First, create an adjustment layer and drag Drag it above both clips. Adjust the length of the adjustment layer. This will determine the speed of the transition. Based on my testing, 40 frames work best, that's 20 frames on each side. Place your playhead in the middle, move 20 frames to the left, and make a cut. Then do the same on the right, and delete the extra parts. Inside the panoramic transition category, you'll find multiple options. Pick the one that fits your style. In this case, let's use the up version. You'll find two preset files, one for the left half, and one for the right. Drag the left panoramic preset onto the left half of the adjustment layer and the right preset onto the right half, and that's it. Your transition is ready. It looks smooth, clean, and super professional. And since it's preset based, it's incredibly easy to use. Just drag and drop. These transitions work with any version of Premiere Pro, even with CS6, the oldest version out there. In the effect controls panel, you can also customize the transition, tweak the values, try different directions, and find what looks best for your edit. There are many more amazing transitions, including 
included in this pack. All drag and drop, no plugins needed, no extra setup. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Grab it now and start saving hours of editing time. Next, we have split transition. Here I have these two stock footages. I want to make the transition about two seconds long, but you can make it shorter or longer if needed. First, cut the last two seconds of the first clip and duplicate this cut to the top track. Select the top layer, go to the effect controls tab, and under the opacity effect, select the pen tool. In the program window, we're going to draw a mask. So let's zoom in a little to make it precise. I'm going to create a triangle shaped mask, but you can try using different shapes too. Next, set the mask feather to zero and then copy this mask. Select the bottom cut, go to effect controls and paste the mask there. Make sure you check inverted and our masking is done. Now we need to animate this mask, so let's nest both layers. Once nested, go to the effects tab and search for transform. Apply this transform effect to both nested clips. Now, select the bottom nested clip. Go to the Effect Controls tab, and under Transform, create a keyframe on position at the first frame. Move a few frames forward and set the position X and Y values to zero. To make the animation smoother, set these keyframes to ease in and ease out. Now move the last keyframe to the end of the clip, then disable Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees. This will add some motion blur. Select the top nested clip. Do the same thing for the top clip. Create a keyframe for position at the first frame. Move ahead few frames. Now this time, double the X and Y values compared to before. So the clip is out of the frame. Make these keyframes ease in and ease out. Again, disable Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees and move the last keyframe to the end of the clip. Now, move these nested clips one track above and place the second stock clip underneath them. This is how the transition will look. Now, Here's a bonus trick to make it feel more realistic. Move the time indicator to the center of the nested sequence. Select the top nested clip and create a position keyframe. Click on the position dropdown and slightly pull apart the two handles, just like that. Repeat the same thing for the bottom nested clip. This keyframe will add a short break and which impact a lot in this transition. You can play with these keyframes until you get the perfect result. Here's the result after adjusting the keyframes. But if you tweak their timing a little more and arrange them like this, it looks way more realistic and visually appealing. You can play with these keyframes until you get the perfect result. Next, we have this smooth cinematic glow transition. I have these two stock clips. First, create a new adjustment layer and drag it above both of these clips. Then. Go to the effects panel and search for the proc amp effect. Apply it to the adjustment layer. Now place the playhead right between the two clips. As you'll notice, the part of the adjustment layer that's above the second clip is about two thirds in length. And that's intentional because the second part of the transition will last longer than the first. Let me show you what I mean. Inside the effect controls panel, create keyframes for brightness. Move the first keyframe with a value of zero a couple of frames backward. Then add another keyframe also with a value of zero and move it slightly forward. Now, right at the point of the playhead, increase the brightness until barely anything is visible inside the frame. That's all you need to do to create this beautiful glow transition, and it works especially well with cinematic footage. Finally, feel free to experiment with the timing of the keyframes to make the transition longer or shorter based on your project needs. The last transition we have is the glitch transition, perfect for music videos, rap edits, and gaming content. This one is also from my 100 transitions pack. I have two clips on my timeline, so let's get started. First, create an adjustment layer and drag it above your clips. Adjust the length of the adjustment layer. Around 40 frames work great, which means 20 frames on each side of the cut. If you open the glitch category from the transition pack, you'll see two subcategories, regular glitch and color glitch. Both are different and both look amazing. Let's Let's start with the regular glitch. Inside, you'll find four different variations. Just drag and drop any one of them onto your adjustment layer. Quick caution here, after applying the glitch transition, make sure to render the adjustment layer before previewing it. These presets use heavy effects, and if you skip rendering, Premiere Pro might lag or even crash. So don't blame me if your PC starts acting up, just render it first. Once rendered, you'll see how great it looks. Super glitchy, fast, and energetic. Now let's try the color glitch, same thing. 
nothing. Just drag and drop it onto your adjustment layer, set the in and out points, and render. And here's what it looks like. Colorful, chaotic, and perfect for fast-paced edits. So all in all, this 100 transitions pack includes some absolutely insane transitions with 22 categories in total. No matter what kind of video you're editing, cinematic, vlog, gaming, or music, this is the only pack you'll ever need. Get all 100 transitions now. The link is in the description below. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which transition you like the most. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.